show you how to create a beautiful soft style in Celeste's hair. So it's going to be a lovely updo for short hair today. I've already curled Celeste's hair using the tongs and the vintage curl technique. So I got a lovely curl in the hair. And if you're not sure how to do the vintage curl technique, you've got a video for that. So have a quick look before you continue. So I'm going to take out the curl so you can see Celeste's hair is short. I used a little bit of setting lotion on each curl before I use the tongs and I use my 25 millimeter tongs to curl the hair. If you want to get a little bit more of a curl you could use a smaller tong. But I'm just going to spray each curl with my Osis Session 3 dry hair spray. I'm going to use a little bit of the Frizz Ease Secret Agent Cream just to smooth out each curl as we go along. So I want to make sure I get a lovely long lasting curl. I could use my List Control Cream as well because I love that one. That's the L'Oreal product but I think today let's give the Secret Agent a go. So I'm just separating the curls so we can get as much shape and definition really. We want each curl to be perfect before we move on to the next. We don't want to start pulling our fingers through the curls because that will start making the curls kind of fluffy and fly away and we want to keep the flyaways at bay. If your client wants a little bit of root lift you might want to put a little bit of back comb in here before you start to separate the curls, just a touch. And we're going to sweep this hair back. Maybe we'll take another row out actually. I'm just going to leave the front sections in. Coming here on the triangle section at the crown. That's it. We're going to start gathering the hair up. We'll create a little kind of section here at the back. We're just holding the hair in. Let's make sure we're happy with the position of the curls because these curls are going to be staying in this position. Once they're in, we just want to lose any flyaways in the hair with our Style and Care Lotion. Pin these into position. Let's take the rest of the curls out. So each curl is going to be placed in position. You can decide at this stage if you want to have any little curls down at the front. They might be better to come from that front section there. So let's bring these bits back. And I'm just going to prop them in position with a little pin just until we decide exactly where everything's going to go. So I'm just using a little pin here in the hair as a little prop so we can decide just where we want the curls to fall. Celeste, do you prefer it kind of that way or that way? I think that way actually. This way? Yeah. We could get a little bit of root lift here. Let's sweep our sections back and create the kind of movement that, that we like. Still got our little props here at the side that we can use to hook our hair over. So. We'll use a few more props here to hold up our side sections here, just so we know everything's in the right position. Quite often the more casual the appearance of the style, the more work that's gone into it. Then let's pin these little sections back. Once we know they're in position, 
using a bobby pin. Just across the back of the hair, holding all these pieces in position. I think actually if we'd put this a little bit lower down because it's kind of flattening the hair a little bit at the back. So I'm going to move this the row of grips just down a little bit. I think it could do with being just a little bit lower. So we've got a bit more movement at the back of the crown here. That's going to be better. So we've got some movement here. Yeah, lovely, much better. We can only pull the hair out so far because of course, remember we're working with short hair. But we want to get it really piecey and really beautiful. So loosen out. Now is the time to get the looseness and the movement and the airiness to the hair just here. So it's really soft and sweat and kind of barely styled. Then I'm going to get a little donut pad. So basically it's a donut that I've cut in half and unraveled. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this donut just at the back of the hair here. I don't want a lot, but I do want a little bit because I want to use this as an anchor to secure the curls to. So I might cut this in half again, because what we want to do is pin the curls up. So it's going to go up to a little kind of messy updo. But I just want to get a little bit of an anchor here. I'm going to fold it up and just place it across the back of the hair. And then I'm going to use our bobby pins across the back. We've already got some bobby pins at the back there, but they're a little bit higher up. So I'm just going to do a bobby pin underneath at the side here. And then using these, the hair pins that I've got as my prop here, I'm going to go into the donut, do my up and over and back in and go behind those bobby pins that we've got in here, in the hair. Just making sure that the donut is really secure. That's it, and one at the bottom. Pick up a little bit of donut, touch the scalp and go under. That's it, so that's really secure. And then we're gonna cover this with our lovely kind of soft curls. So using a hairpin, I can go into the donut, come out, do my up and over and go back in. Pick up a thread of donut. Remember the donut net, it doesn't snap, it just kind of stretches, but it gives us a little anchor to secure the curls and yet have them soft and relaxed. Check the sides, make sure you're happy with them. Don't bring, if, if you feel you kind of brought them back a bit too far, you can just kind of stop them. And here, I'm going to go in, get some of that hair underneath. You can still use hair to do the up and over, as long as you use secure hair. And just keep an eye on the rest of the style. And here we've got a lovely, softly swept style. Let's play with these side sections a little bit side which bits you want back. A bit of texturizing dust just where you're going to secure the hair. And when you go in with your pin with a little tick on there, the straight side of the pin we go into the hair, find something secure. So it doesn't work if you just go get loose hair. You have to go in and dig a little bit deeper, get secure hair and come out again. Go over the section we want to secure do our up and over and go back in towards the scalp and that little bit of hair then will stay there and the pin won't come down. Decide which bits are going up, which bits are going down. And secure the hair. Is that too tight, Celeste? No, that's fine. And we've got a lovely little messy updo for short hair. So remember to use the mirror when you're working with your clients and always get feedback from your clients when it comes to the front section because they know their faces much better than we do. Have a look now, Celeste, is that a little bit better? No. A little bit more on this side or does yeah. that feel a bit wide, that one there? I think a tiny bit here perhaps. Yeah? Yeah. Okay.
up and back a little yeah, bit, I think, yeah. When you're creating these styles, it's the finishing touches that are as important as the kind of first bits of the style. They're just as important. So always allow yourself time to kind of work on the front section. I think it looks better with the little piecey bits curled, do you? Yeah, definitely. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, just click like and subscribe and join me on my next video.